this is my mailbox. That's the little house I'm trying to stay in. I use it as my home studio to paint cool stuff. You can see that although I'm in a neighborhood, that was my truck. My little house sits way back from the road. So I feel like I'm out in the country. It's really conducive for doing artwork and painting. I think it used to be a garage. There's a couple of chairs. Good old-fashioned grandpa chairs that were donated to me by a patron. I will be painting those. Here's one I did paint. And here's the door. Knock, knock. Come in. It's a little bit of a mess. But then what artist studio isn't? There are paintings everywhere on the wall. This one is favorite. I have not agreed to let that one go yet. This is my one of my more recent Pueblo paintings. This one's been popular, but I still have it. You can also hear how quiet it is in my little home studio. There's the back door where I work on projects. My painting table. A few books. The kitchen area. Yes, there's even paintings in the kitchen. And I work on things in the kitchen. There's Dave's house out in the hill country. Of course, Dave's no longer with us. All right, and there's my place where we're inside right now. There's painting that I did for my son. You see him there with his dog visiting in the hill country. I am working on a piece right here. Getting ready for an open house this weekend. Working on some things here. This is my Bastrop lake scene. This is my flower shop, my flower farm scene. I hope you're not getting too dizzy with this camera. Maybe you want to be looking at me and not my art. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the things I'm able to paint while in this little tiny one-room house. I used to live in that house. Maybe some people recognize it. So, my back yard serves as an additional workspace for things I want to paint. Some mailboxes. Got to get those painted. And, of course, flowers bloom in February in Texas. So, that's it. This is the little place I'm trying to stay in while I prepare for my solo exhibition show. I'm going to put myself on camera so you can see me and I can thank you. So we'll just zoom that in, put it in the spot, I can sit here and say thank you so much for going to my GoFundMe page and reading the lengthy story about my new career change and the uh, funds I'm trying to raise right now so I can stay in this little studio and prepare for my solo exhibition which comes up in August. 
in Austin, sorry, in June of 2013. It's my first exhibition, let alone being a solo exhibition, so I'm really excited about it. And I just wanted to make this video to say thanks for listening to my story. Um, thank you for supporting your local artists, and certainly if you're in Bastrop, come on by. Okay, gotta shut the camera off now.